The hospitality and tourism industry provides the experiences that we look forward to for dining, recreation, major life events, or just to get away for a little while. Most of us interact with hospitality workers every day, whether grabbing a cup of coffee, dining out, or catching the latest blockbuster film. The hospitality and tourism industry includes a wide range of facets, including lodging, restaurants, event planning, theme parks, transportation services, cruises, travel guides, casinos, movie theaters, and tourism. The industry plays a particularly big role for travelers, as hospitality and tourism workers help plan trips and make travel reservations, operate hotels and amusement parks, and guide tour groups. Tourism and hospitality industry link closely with the laws and regulations. It helps to ensure both tourist and industry operators come within a fair and equitable environment. It is also very important for industry operators to have knowledge of it that they can prevent legal suit being initiated or fine being imposed on them. In conclusion, Tourism law refers to a combination of state, federal, and international laws that regulate various aspects and functions of travel industry. For instance, travel law may involve anything from hospitality to employment to public health regulations. To better understand the travel and tourism law, here are the five simple concepts. It is legal to travel. Transportation that is both dependable and safe must be easily available. Lodging should be available to all travelers. The traveler must be accommodated in a safe and appropriate manner. And lastly, 
travel and lodging expenses must be affordable. Travel and tourism law, what we need to know in 2021. Tourism law refers to a combination of state, federal, and international law that regulate various aspects and functions of the travel industry. Tourism law also reflects not only the rights of international and local tourists but also the legal responsibilities of inbound and outbound tour operators, travel agents, and other significant players in this industry. The main concern of tourism is to provide a fair and equitable environment for travel consumer and organization. Critical points in travel and tourism law for is a crucial question regarding the enactment of tourism legislation is that from whose point of view the legislation is to be made. We know that it's important to consider the view of different people and to answer that question it is from the point of tourism industry Next, from the point of national interest and destination interest, also from the international tourists and domestic tourists, last from the point of host population. Next critical point is there are many law in travel and tourism industry which affect tourism operation and activities, and some people do not know that there is a law when it comes to travel and tourism. We must familiarize with the laws and we should know if that law is applicable to that certain activities. Also, need to promote all laws that concern to the tourism and hospitality industry and having tourism legislation enacted to check the negative impacts of tourism. Ensure adequate service to guests, manage business exposure to risk, and maintain complete compliance with the state and federal laws. Knowledge of hospitality regulations protects your business reputation. For example, hotels have to provide access to disabled patrons, and if your business fails to comply, you could face lawsuits, protests, and negative publicity. There is no one thing as such which can be described as a tourism legislation because of the varied nature of tourism itself. However, laws are pervasive in the tourism industry in order to regulate, permit, promote, empower, or ban the commercial leisure activities of both service providers as well as tourists. These are the possible suggestions in the system. Broaden the use of travel and tourism laws, not only in popular regions, but also in places that have not yet been completely discovered. We must urge that the government pay attention to the sites that are not yet well known in order to conserve and preserve the beauty of their environment. And as a result, even if many places throughout the world are already occupied by the man-made infrastructures, we believe that a specific country deserves to have a special spot where only animals are permitted to dwell and be free anytime, but it still needs to be protected by the government. And to make it possible, they must ensure a sustainable funding mechanism for the implementation of tourism policies, plans, programs, projects, and activities. Legal and social practice related to the treatment of a person's guests or those who patronize a place of business. Related to the concept of legal liability, hospitality laws are intended to protect both hosts and guests against injury, whether accidental or intentional. Hotels and other business operators are expected to act prudently and use reasonable care to ensure that their premises are reasonably free of risk. While not specifically requiring that a business owner ensure his guests are safe, most jurisdictions interpret prudent and reasonable to include foreseeable dangers, such as tripping hazards or unsecured shelving. In most cases, Unless directly disclaimed, for example, with some insurance waivers, hospitality law does not protect a business owner against charges of negligence. Common law holds in keepers liable for any loss of guest property when the guest is on the premises of a place of business. In practice, such liability is often overlooked provided that the business owner meets certain conditions such as having a guest sign a waiver of liability. In most countries, for liability waivers to be enforceable, notification of the waiver must be posted in an accessible, visible location, usually at the front desk or in a common area of the business, and must be printed in clearly legible text. American hospitality statutes also govern bailments. A 
A bailment is the delivery of an item of property, for some purpose, with the expressed or implied understanding that the person receiving it shall return it in the same or similar condition in which it was received, when the purpose has been completed. Coat checks, safety deposit boxes, and luggage storage are common examples of bailments for the hospitality industry. The Laws of Innkeepers by John I. Sherry provides an in-depth analysis of the laws affecting places of public accommodation.